Hello, welcome to our Pentecost family celebration, our messy church celebration. You are so welcome. You know, Pentecost, we're going to have that story later on, is a really exciting story about the birthday, happy birthday to you, the birthday of the church. Wow, and birthdays are all about celebrations, aren't they? And I like a good celebration. I also like a good sing song. And when it was, we, we went out onto the street very recently to have a street party to celebrate, to remember the anniversary of 75 years, the VE day. Maybe you did the same, maybe you did. We had lots of songs. And during this lockdown time, it's important to jump around. And that's exactly what we did in the street. And I thought it'd be good if you joined us with some of these songs. I think you'll know them. So everybody stand up and be ready to jump around and sing along with my street. Hey, and have fun. Well, let's sing if you're happy and you know it. Are yeah. you still happy? Yes. Yes, are you? Yes. 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 Let's hear it. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. Four, three. Happy and you know it. Four, or three. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Stamp your feet, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, two or three. Elaine, you're gonna sing your part. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Heads and shoulders. So are you ready? Put your heads in. You ready? Yes, stand up for this. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose. Heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and a mouth and a nose, heads and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Oh my word, what's going on here? I got a glow for, I wonder. Whoa, look, I've got the whole world in my Oh no! Oh. It came back to me. Oh, I hope you're okay because you just got um, sort of battered by the world, didn't you? In fact, my little camera is a little bit lopsided, I do believe. But why am I holding the world? And, well, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only Son, and whoever believes in him shall not die, but have eternal life. Yes, the Bible says that God made the world and the world turned bad, people turned against God and messed it up, but God still loved the world, so he sent Jesus. Jesus came and he lived a perfect life and he cared for people, he helped people, he was kind to people, he fed people, but jealous people became angry and they took him and they nailed him to a cross and they thought they got rid of him. But the Bible says, I'm sure you know this story already, already, Jesus came back to life again and he met with his friends and then 
they realized he, he was alive. He died for all the bad things that we had done so we could have a new beginning, a new start. And then it was time for him to go back, back home, back to heaven. So he said to his disciples, to his friends, let's go up a mountain. You don't normally go up a mountain to say goodbye, do you? But that's what Jesus did. He took all his friends up the mountain. And then he said, I'm about to go back to heaven. And if I was one of his disciples, I'd be thinking, uh, where? Normally, if you're going somewhere, you go to a train station or something like that. You don't normally go up a mountain when you're about to go home, do you? Because it doesn't really lead anywhere, does it? It just sort of comes to a peak and finishes. But Jesus said, I'm about to go home, back to my father, back to heaven. But before I do, this is what I want you to do now. I want you to go into all the world and share the gospel. The gospel, which means the good news, the good news of God's love, God's love with everybody, everywhere. And he also said that, hey, that's what I want you to do, but don't worry. I'm going to send someone, someone very special, who will be there to help you. So you go back to the room and wait. And as he was speaking, I wanted to share the gospel, the good news with everybody everywhere. It's like the disciples were here. Have you noticed? Jesus seems to be getting taller. What do you mean? Look. Oh yes. And Jesus was going up in the air. And eventually he just sort of disappeared. Bye bye. He's gone. And then two angels appeared and said, look, one day he will return. But then they started to walk back to the room, like Jesus said. And I imagine as they were walking, I wonder what they were thinking of. I wonder what they were saying to each other. What was it Jesus said? He said, I want you to go into all the world and share the gospel, the good news of God's love with everybody, everywhere. But how can we do that? Maybe, maybe one of them said, I know, you do? Yes, let's get in a car. Brum, 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 brum. Of course, they didn't say that. Cars haven't been invented. Oh, yeah. I know. Let's go on the World Wide Web on the internet. An internet? Is, like, is that like a fishing net? No, the internet hasn't been invented. Uh, let's go on a choo choo train. What's a choo choo train? I don't know. It hasn't been invented. Let's go on an airplane. What's an airplane? I don't know. It hasn't been invented. All those things that we take for granted, they didn't have any of them. None of them at all. And yet Jesus has go, said, go into all the world and share the gospel, the good news with everybody, everywhere. So they were confused and they were sad because they just lost their friend Jesus. They knew with Jesus' friend, with Jesus, they would have been able to do that. But suddenly they felt alone and they thought, how can we do this? And that's when they went back into the room and they waited and they waited and they waited. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. When suddenly there was a noise, there was a noise from the sky. Sounded like a strong wind, a strong wind very close by. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. They were waiting, 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 not knowing exactly what to do. And then they saw what looked like tongues, looked like tongues, tongues of fire, and it touched everyone. The Holy Spirit had arrived in power. No more waiting, 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 waiting. They knew exactly what to do. No more waiting, 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 waiting. They knew exactly what to do. They went out into the streets, told everyone the good news, and everyone understood the language wasn't confused. No more waiting, 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 waiting The Holy Spirit had arrived 
No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit had arrived. He's a helper, a comforter, and he gives the truth, and he will be with you always. He's a helper and comforter, and he gives the truth, and he will be with you always. No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit has arrived. No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit has arrived. No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit has arrived. No more waiting, 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 waiting. The Holy Spirit has arrived. like a strong wind and whoosh, what's going on what's going on but it was the the day the spirit came god's power came upon them god's power came dwelt within them and suddenly these people who were scared confused the disciples suddenly they knew what to do and simon peter one of jesus's followers said i know what we're going to do and they went out into the streets and guess what they started to do they started to share the gospel the gospel the good news the good news of god's love god's love with everybody everywhere yes god had given them the confidence to do that by the power of his spirit coming inside them i've got to talk about a tennis racket i'd like to show you Here I have my old tennis racket. Doesn't look very special, look, does it? But watch. My old tennis racket with two sticks. I can learn to do this. Woo! This old tennis racket comes to life. My strength is keeping a bit in, up in the air. My strength, my talent, is, is, is uh, uh, helping this tennis racket to come to life in this way. I have to be very careful because I've got lights around, so I have to be very careful. But did you see how this old tennis racket came to life in the hands of a juggler? In the same way, God's people, they were scared, they were frightened, hiding away. But when God's spirit came on them, suddenly they knew what to do and they went out into the streets and they started to share the gospel, the good news with everybody, everywhere. And on the day of Pentecost, not one, not two, but three people? No. 300 people? No. 3,000 people believed Peter's message and they they became Christians and they started the church. That's why we call it Happy Birthday to You, Happy Birthday to You, Happy Birthday dear church. The birthday of the church, the church began and it started to grow. More and more people heard the gospel, the good news of God's love and they started to share it with their neighbours with their friends and people travel to share the good news of Jesus and God's salvation. God as a rescuer giving us a new start, a new beginning and now all around the world there are churches. Isn't that exciting? God's people are everywhere being kind, being good and sharing God's love with everybody everywhere and that's what Pentecost is all about. <laughs> Put your left arm in. Oh yeah. It's great because most of the women are really joining in, but most of the blokes, come on guys, you gotta get up. You put your left arm in, left arm out. In, out, in, out, you shake it all about. You do the whole cocky and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Oh, the yoki cocky. You shake it all about You do the hokey pokey and you turn around That's what it's all about Oh, the yoki pokey Oh, the yoki pokey Oh, the yoki pokey Knees bent, arms stretch, wah, wah, wah You put your left leg in, your left leg out In, out, in, out You shake it all about You do the hokey 
honky tonky and you turn around and that's what it's all about oh They say, yeah, ow, they can hurt. Is that balloon complete? Is that, it is a balloon, look, have a close look. It is definitely a, bl a balloon, ouch! But somehow it's not quite complete, is it? What does a balloon need? I know, what did you say? Say, it needs somebody to blow air into it. That's right, to make it complete. Let's try and blow it up, shall we? Are you ready? Oh, I can't. Hey, I need a bit of help. I need some help to blow this balloon up. But hang on. Here it is. I brought along my mate. This is a pump and I can't do it on my own. I need help. But let's blow some air into this special, very special balloon. Look, so that's what it's looking like at the moment. Not very excited. But look, not very exciting. But when we blow air in, look what happens to the balloon. That's far more exciting, isn't it? Whoa, a big balloon. And look, we need to tie it. Suddenly the air has been blown into the balloon. The balloon is now complete, but this balloon is a special balloon. This is a modeling balloon. And that's what God does. It's like he blows his, his air, his spirit into us and we become complete. But then he wants to shape us. Just like a balloon modeler might take a balloon and shape it into something special. He shapes our lives. He turns us into what he wants us to be so that we can share the gospel, the good news, God's love with everybody, everywhere. I'm going to try and shape it into something. What shall I do? I know. I'll take it like this. 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 And we've got oh, a little doggy. <laughs> How much is that? Come back. Doggy in the window. So that's what God does. He breathes his spirit into us and then he turns us into the person that he wants us to be. Kind and good and sharing his love with everybody, everywhere. No more waiting, 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 waiting The Holy Spirit has arrived No more waiting, 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 waiting The Holy